Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to Flaming Sword YouTube channel where you can access an incredible selection of spirit-filled content that are bound to inspire and captivate you. By subscribing, you will be able to stay up to date on all of our latest productions, so be sure to click on the notification icon. Your subscription is the only way through which we grow our community. Thanks and God bless you. Hey there, lovers of Flaming Sword Ministries. We come bearing glad tidings of joy. Please tell someone to tell someone that the Flaming Sword Ministries International now has an app. Yes, we just launched an app where you and your loved ones can watch all our exciting and life-changing movies and talk shows for free. You heard right. It's absolutely free at no cost to you. The Flaming Sword Ministry app is completely personalized for you. It features our short and full-length movies, talk show programs, and music videos. It's user-friendly, easy to navigate, and the picture quality is top-notch, HD quality. Android users can download the app from Google Play Store. iOS users can download the app from the Apple App Store. What are you waiting for? Head on now to the App Store to download the app today. And remember to spread the word. God bless you. You are welcome to Revelation Cinema Ministry. Uh, this is our YouTube channel. I believe God, one way or the other, directs your path to this movie you're about to watch. It's going to change you. It's going to affect you. We make sure on this channel that we only upload the movie that is inspiring, that is entertaining, that is refreshing and relaxing. We make sure that the message, the content is good enough so that we'll be able to meet your expectations. We are trusting God by the mercy of the Lord that this message will go from places to places. But rest, be rest assured that we promise God that we are not going to allow anything to crush the message that he has for us. So now, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, not because of me, not because of the people we work together, but because the Word of God says so. Psalm 68 verse 11 said, it says that the Lord gives the Word. Many are they that publish it. So it is now your turn to publish this message by sharing it, by liking it, by giving to it, by supporting it, by one way or the other make sure that the message does not stop with you there's somebody in your cycle that need this message maybe your husband maybe your wife maybe your child maybe somebody around you you can share it you can use it in your channel you can use it in your church you can use it to ministers a lot to pastor to ministers to people of god ambassador it will teach you about the key and the power of relationship and what we need to take very importantly as we journey our way from here to eternity. Be rest assured that things are going to change, but the word of God remains unchanged. Deny the blood 
of Jesus. God forbid I will never deny the blood of Jesus. Hey, God help me. Oh Lord, help me. Ah. Ah. Hey, no, no. I am saved by the blood of Jesus. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Hey, Jesus, wash me by the blood of the Lamb. No, 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 devil. This is not my portion. No, no. I reject this dream. Lord, help me. Help me. I reject this dream. I reject this nightmare. In the name of Jesus, I reject it. I renounce it. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Hey, he that is from above is above her. Hey, yes, yes. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. The chastisement of my peace was laid upon him, and by his strife, I am here. Hey, I will make me to know that there is no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. Hey, no, no. I root this the evil tree out. The Bible says, Every tree my father in heaven has not planted shall be rooted out. Whatever been the source of this, this, this. This nightmare, this this dream is uprooted now in the name of Jesus. There is no enchantment against my life. There is no divination against me. There is no enchantment against Jacob. Now there is divination against me. I am redeemed by the blood in the name of Jesus. In this case, my Lord, I tender legitimate accusations against Pastor Felix. Go on. Thank you, my lord. This man, my lord, this so-called pastor, in his lifespan of just 31 years alone, has lied, stolen, cheated, been in a secret court, sniffed glue, smoked marijuana, committed fornication with several women. He has watched pornography. He has spoken evil about God and man. This man is currently a pastor, yet he still struggles with lust against his female members, struggles with self-righteousness. He prays loudly when people are there, but his secret prayer life is getting anemic. He exaggerates on the pulpit. He prays fervently for members to be added to his church, but not for souls to become disciples of Christ. He does not restore backsliding brethren with meekness. As stated in the eternal word, Galatians chapter 6, subsection 1, which says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. My Lord, Based on this evidence backed charges, he is resoundingly guilty. Felix, are all these charges against you true? Uh, yes. Yes, my lord. I, I do my best in the ministry. But sometimes I make mistakes. I, I, I didn't know this wicked prosecutor was recording all this against me. You can call me names, but you can't fault my records. I am a legal expert. <sighs> please, please. I am sorry, my lord. <laughs> Felix, sorry is not an acceptable plea in the court. What is required of you is how you plead your case. <sighs> oh. Oh. My lord. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15 states, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of his way and nailed it on his cross, and having spoiled principalities and power, 
He made a sure of them openly triumphing over them in it. My Lord, I plead by the blood of Jesus. Prosecutor. The blood of the Lamb of God override your accusation over Felix. Therefore, Felix has received remission of sin, which is forgiveness and justification, which is as though never seen. As far as the east is from the west, so have I put his sin away from him because of the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Felix is redeemed from the cause of the law. He receives the blessings of Abraham and the promises of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ. Case dismissed. But my Lord! Akiza, I said case is closed. But Felix has denied the blood of the Lamb of God which bought his forgiveness. How do you mean? Unforgiveness, my Lord! He has refused to forgive Pastor Thompson, who spread false reports against him to their senior pastor. You have a case of unforgiveness against him? Yes, my Lord. All right. Case reopened. Speak Thank up. Thank you, my Lord. You remain just through all ages. Aha! Here it is. Pastor Thompson, the assistant pastor to Felix, lied against Felix, stating that Felix was disloyal to the senior pastor and had been fraudulent with church funds. Pastor Thompson claimed he got the evidence through an anonymous social media message. The matter was raised in the pastor's executive meeting and Felix was told to step down for a thorough investigation to be done. When Felix stepped down, Pastor Thompson took up his role in the interim. The investigation was completed in three months and Pastor Felix was found to be innocent of the false claims. Pastor Thompson repented and asked for forgiveness in the final meeting, claiming he was only concerned because the anonymous email contained damaging evidence. When he was asked to produce the email, Pastor Thompson claimed to have deleted it by accident. The senior pastor and Felix here accepted the apology. But my lord, Felix did not forgive Pastor Thompson from his heart. He only pushed his pain of betrayal to the recesses of his heart where the sin of pain has taken root and the root of bitterness and unforgiveness has sprung up. When Felix sees Pastor Thompson, he stiffens inside with hate, but outside he greets him warmly. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man of God. But in his heart, there is a stone of unforgiveness and the root of intense bitterness. He has nurtured several thoughts of vengeance and hatred that my team has tirelessly fired into his heart against Pastor Thompson. In particular, he has comforted his bitter heart with the belief that God's wrath will soon be made manifest on Pastor Thompson. My Lord, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is the propitiation for the sin of all men. Both Felix and Thompson's sins, the penalty for their sin was paid by the blood of the Lamb of God. But how can Felix plead the blood of Jesus over his own sins, but deny the effectiveness of the blood of Jesus over Thompson's sins? This is hypocrisy. And the Lord Jesus said in the eternal word, Luke chapter 12, subsection 1, which says, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Felix is a complete hypocrite. The same blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that he claims to plead over his own sins 
is the same blood that paid the penalty for Pastor Thompson's sins. Felix's unforgiveness indicates a refusal to accept the blood of Jesus as a payment for Pastor Thompson's sin and thereby nullifies Felix's plea for the blood of Jesus to forgive his own sins. No, my Lord, I believe in the blood of Jesus. If you believe in the blood of Jesus as the payment for the penalty of your sin, how come you do not apply that same belief over Pastor Thompson's sin and offer him forgiveness? If you truly believe his sin has been atoned for by the blood, there is no basis for unforgiveness. When you deny Pastor Thompson forgiveness, you deny the validity of the blood of Jesus to be an atonement for sin. Therefore, your own sin remains. Felix, what do you have to say? <sighs> My Lord, My please! Lord. Felix cannot recognize the blood of Jesus as payment for the penalty of his own sin. And they refuse to recognize it as payment for the penalty of Thompson's sin. That is schizophrenic. He has refused to forgive Thompson because he has not recognized the blood of Jesus as payment for the penalty of Thompson's sin. You want the benefit of the cross when it comes to your sin, but you despise the nature of the only one who hung on the tree and said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Hmm. If you have accepted the blood of Jesus as the payment for the penalty of sin, there is no basis for unforgiveness. But you deny the blood of the Lamb of God by your unforgiveness. Prosecutor, let him speak. Felix, what do you have to say about this? Oh, my Lord, my Lord. What Pastor Thompson did was so painful. It was so painful to me. It's, it slandered my reputations. It brought shame and reproach to my name. It usurped my authority. It accused me of stealing church from something I never did. And he had no happiness, my Lord. He had no happiness. Does a physician heal from nowhere that he cannot even produce? Because he wanted to be the head pastor of the church. My Lord, when I took the call of God, I repented of all my sins. And I followed Jesus with all my heart. I was falsely accused, my Lord. Felix, Matthew 18, 32 to 35. From where are you supposed to forgive your brother his trespasses? From my heart, my Lord. Good. Externally, it looks like you are forgiving Thompson. But you have not done it from your heart. And you know it. The blood of Jesus truly makes an atonement for your sin. But you have denied the blood of Jesus by refusing to recognize it as an atonement for Thompson's sin. Isn't it? <laughs> Remember, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. Yes, my Lord. The penalty for sin must be paid. And that is what the blood of Jesus has done. You play the blood of Jesus on one hand for the forgiveness of your sin. But you deny the blood of Jesus on the other hand for the remission of sin, of Thompson's sin. By your own forgiveness, you invalidate your own plea. And you deny the atonement for sin made by the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Exactly, my I Lord. I was not talking to you. Felix, do you believe the blood of Jesus purchased remission of sin for all mankind? Yes, my Lord. And do you believe the blood of Jesus has paid for the penalty of your sin? Yes. 
I believe, my Lord. Felix, do you believe the blood of Jesus has also paid for the penalty of Thompson's sin? Yes. Yes, my Lord. I believe the blood of Jesus has atoned not only for my sins, but also for Christ of Thompson's sin. He has repented. Yes, yes. And from my heart, I've forgiven him. I forgive Pastor Thompson. I receive the love of Christ. I choose to love him. That's not true. Then the blood of the Lamb of God avails for you. Case dismissed. It's not fair. All this hard work, all to no avail. I am deliver. Praise the Lord. I am deliver by His blood. Once I was changed by evil prosecutor. I am deliver. Praise the Lord. Pastor Thompson, I was wrong. I must confess, I had bitterness against you from what happened. But now, I have forgiven you from my heart. Um, the blood of Jesus that made atonement for my sin is the same blood that atoned for your sins. Um, we are all beneficiary of God's grace. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have been under serious condemnation. I had to come and see you. Wow. My brother, don't allow the devil. There is no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Don't listen to the accusers of the brethren. You have repented. I have repented. And I would say repentance is sweet smelling savor before God. Hmm. I hear you, sir, but how do I forgive myself? Oh, <laughs> simple, my brother. Simple. Do not focus on yourself. Focus on the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that has made an atonement for your sins. When God commands us to forgive, Include ourselves. We have all sins and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Unless we receive the atonement of the blood of Jesus, our sins and for the sins of order, we all be in condemnation, guilt, and shame. Oh, I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank God, my brother. <laughs> Receive the atonement that the blood of Jesus has made for your sins. Accept that the penalty of your sin has been paid for. Lord Jesus, thank you for my pastor. Lord, I receive your blood as the torment for my sin. I receive your word, go and sin no more. I receive the grace to be led by your spirit and not the carnal ambition of my flesh. Lord, I receive everything your torment brought for me. I bring my heart of repentance to you, O oh Lord. Receive it, receive me in Jesus' name. Amen. This movie is brought to you by the support and kind donations of our viewers. If you would like to partner with us, we welcome your generous donations to the accounts provided below. Flaming Sword Ministries is a tax-exempt organization and we will gladly provide you with your contribution statement for tax purposes. Thank you for your time and consideration. God bless you.
Wow, wow, wow. I was blessed. Thank you for watching this movie. I know you are blessed. Please subscribe so when we drop new movies, you'll be notified. Subscribe, like, and share. God bless you.